Hello, Hello, and we're back, and where are the bakers? Yes. And did you know that this week is the National Marriage Week? Mm -hmm. And in light of that, we have some excellent news that we would like to share with you. So what is it that you have? Yes, yeah, son. So in honor of National Marriage Week, we're going to be showcasing or highlighting a couple a day on Facebook Live. And it's twofold. We want to, first of all, encourage couples who have committed to marriage. Yay! Yes! Yes. And we also want to encourage um, other couples, whether you've been married one day, five years, whatever the case may be, to encourage you with the testimonies from other couples. Absolutely. So today, we're going to start it off. It's Sunday. It's February the 11th. Yes. And we're going to start off with a couple. And their names are... Do -do 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 Eric and Monique Etheridge. Yes. So this is what we're going to tell you about them. So first of all, they've been married or will be married almost 20 years in August. Let's congratulate. Congratulations. Woo! They have been hanging in there and not just hanging in the baskets, but hanging. They love it. They love it. Yes. So these are the words of wisdom that they gave us that we want to share. We can share with you, the audience. Okay. So the words of wisdom are this. They say the one word that they can hear that they think describes their marriage is the word curves, honey. Curves. Curves. Okay, break that one down. So they said, to them it means it is not the straight paths in life that are hard, but it is the curves. When you are going through the curves in life together, in life together, you must lean together. I'm, I'm still reading. I'm reading. <laughs> it is kind of like riding a motorcycle where you have to lean mm. in the same direction to get through the curves. If not, you're going to be thrown off. Mm. Mm. What do you think about that, honey? It's interesting. Uh, life is not about a straight line in life. And curves do recognize, uh, re uh, really indicate that there's going to be some challenges and maybe there's some detours that you have to make in order to get back on track. Mm -hmm. Or the detours may be what you need, a rest period in that, in that cycle of mm -hmm. marriage, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And so now you can get back on and then you have to learn how to lean on one another, like we're doing, yes, kind of like we're doing yes, right now. Yes, yes, yes. Leaning on one another. So let me read that again. Okay, you go like. ahead. It do says, that. when you are going through the curves in life together, you must learn to lean together. <laughs> I think that is so cool. And I like how they use the motorcycle as an analogy that you're leaning in the same direction because when you're riding a motorcycle, you can't go against, you got to go with the. The way it's going, the way it's flowing. So <laughs> let's again congratulate. Congratulate. Monique and Eric, Eric Etheridge. Etheridge. Yes, almost 20, 20 years. 20 years of marriage. We are saying congratulations in advance. Yes. And we hope that their words of wisdom can help you as a couple. Something about the curves. Don't forget the word curves. Yes. It's not going to be straight. Curves. Anything yes. else you want to add, hon? And if you're not married... And you desire to be married. Listen, you can still yet learn from individuals that have great experiences and have gone through challenges in life, but still yet have leaned on each other for strength, for hope to get to the next dimension, to get to the next level of their marriage. And also we want to share with you that there are couples that that does still yet honor traditional marriages yes. and they still yet working together to be successful. So we want we want to be able to uh, share with you some of the words of wisdom from from individuals and couples that have been married. And also maybe you can learn something from those words of wisdom, something that you can put in your toolbox, you know, for the days to come. I think that's good. So again, we're going to be showcasing a couple every day this week through probably Friday. And then we're going to be doing something new we'll tell you about at the end of next week. Yes. But if you want to find out any more information or you actually want to be showcased as a couple, you can go to our blog at www.enrichingyourmarriageblog.wordpress.com. 
You can go there and leave your information, or you can email us at enrichingyourmarriage at gmail.com. Again, email enrichingyourmarriage at gmail.com. So I think that's it, huh? We'll give a shout out to uh, Evelyn and have joined us, and yes. as, as well as uh, Cora White. We appreciate you for hey, joining. Hey, Evelyn, in. with all that snow uh, up north. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> she's in the Chicagoland area. Yes, and uh, we pray God's grace and yes. that that He would see that He would see you through, even you know the uh, the piles of snow, <laughs> yes. you know, with grace, and that yes. He still yet smile upon you, yes. and that you stay warm, and also uh, Cora White. We appreciate you for tuning in as well. And yes. those of you that have missed the beginning of it, remember, this is the week of National Marriage Week. National Marriage. So if you're married, enjoy your spouse. Yes. Talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.